Hi lovelies, so I thought I would tell you about my day today because I'm probably going to not be feeling so great very soon. So the following is me talking about my day and showing you some presents and things and whatnots. Me rambling as usual, chatty Kathy, except for my name's Emily. I took like vid little video clips of my night, but the lighting wasn't very great because it's getting dark so early now, and so I thought I would just tell you about my day today, or it's two o'clock in the morning, so yesterday. It's like in a flare today because that's just what happens when I have like tons of fun as I have to pay for it for like a week. But I was so worried that I was going to be feeling sick when my sister-in-law is here because she's only here part of Friday, Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, and then part of Monday. So, and then I have a really stressful week coming up with doctor's appointments, and then Saturday I have a planned dinner with my friends as kind of like a fake birthday, because I have my birthday is Christmas Eve, so I'm not going to be able to see them because then on December 1st I'm going to Florida for five, six months, who knows how long. I just tell you about my day t today. It was really pleasant. Uh, so the night before, I didn't sleep at all because I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to hang out with my sister-in-law because this is the first time she's ever come just by herself, like without my brother. And, you know, like her and I are close and stuff, but it's still like she doesn't know that much about my illness and like how ill I actually am. and. So if I didn't hang out with her like the whole weekend or make like a special effort, because people just think like you can rally and just like make a special effort. Like, no, that's like the whole like what makes me disabled part is like I can't rally. So I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to hang out with her and that she would be offended or take or, you know, just be upset like that I didn't want to spend time with her because I really did. And we had like plans and I just got like overwhelmed so I didn't sleep the whole night but I did get to pack up some of my makeup and just kind of clean some of the areas in my room which makes always makes me feel better I woke up around like 2 in the afternoon which is perfect because she was just getting here then and um, so I got ready and I did that first impression for you guys which I liked the I liked the mascara but it's definitely not my favorite it did get very flaky by the end of the night I did have it on for quite some time but it did flake underneath my eye which I don't usually have an issue with and um, it did kind of bother my eyes uh, like I feel like that's just part of the flaking but usually I do another mascara over it I always do more than one mascara so I think Maybe that was the issue since I just did that one, but I don't know, just something to think about. I know that um, Bunny, who um, comments on my videos and does her own awesome videos, she said that she loves it. So it's always awesome to hear what you guys think of um, products because using it one time from a sample, who knows, you know. Uh, but anyways, so we went and we got our nails done. I got this done to them oh you can't really see but it's this really um, gorgeous maybe I'll Instagram a picture of them but it's this really gorgeous deep um, kind of sparkly purple color and then this is a sparkly silver and then I got two lines on each side so it's so my first time actually getting like two accent nails kind of thing so very nervous about it but also very excited so I found it on Pinterest and my sister-in-law was like yeah do it so I was like oh that's all the courage I need so I'm gonna just do it um, but that was kind of a fiasco because the um, nail salon that we went to is not like the best salon but I know that they sanitize things so uh, you know I was like well let's just go there because I don't really know any other ones which sucks because I actually do know another one and they do such a great job but I think it was like, you know how some salons they'll like put alcohol or remover in old um, nail polish? 
like he just kept putting top coat and top coat and top coat and the, it was just nasty it was like kind of bubbly and I get gels but she just gets regular but luckily my lady who owns the salon she took a look at them and was like let me please let me redo them and Den was like no no and I was like you should let her do them and so she did them really quick and they looked so much better we did like a whole different color and it was a brand new bottle and so it was so much better so that was really nice um, so then after that we went to Regal where <laughs> it's kind of an outdoor um, mall area where we go to the movies we there's a shop there that we absolutely love it's called Francesca's so she usually hits that up when she comes here um, you know it just like I think it reminds her of like New York like that like kind of boutique type thing um, I actually saw mucklucks in there which is um, some stuff that I've gotten in my Warnable subscription box so it was really cool kind of to see that I was like I have these like you know in a cool like boutique um, so I picked up a few things there. Um, I guess I can show you. The, the problem I'm running into with showing you guys stuff is that I have viewers that are friends that I'm going to be sending things to. And then I have friends that occasionally randomly watch videos that just happen to be the ones that I buy presents for them. A couple of days ago, I did one um, for uh, talking about a Smashbox Urban Decay, not a Smashbox, an Urban Decay smoked palette that I got from Monica, and she ended up watching that. And so it sucks for me because that takes like all the fun out of it because I love the surprise of giving it. So I'm just like trying to make sure that I'm not showing anything. That so it came, I got this free tote. And it's so cute. It says, give thanks. And then it says Francesca's on it. So, um, I got this little jewelry holder. Um, because right now, I just take all of my jewelry and I throw it into a box. And then it just turns into mush like that. And um, this is Bird is the Word jewelry holder. And it's just a little, I wish I would have gotten two of them because they'd be really cute on each side of my vanity. But they're just little um, birds that, and you just, you put them on your wall. And there's a little space here. And then you can just put um, watches and necklaces and um, rings and stuff just on them. So I'm obsessed with this. Um, I actually got it to have my parents give it to me because with my memory loss I can usually just give them stuff and they can wrap it and I won't even remember that I bought it. Uh, I might have to go back and get another one of these because it's so little and I have a lot of jewelry especially with wantables now. Yep, that's a present for somebody. Um, I think that's the only thing I can show you guys because the other two things I got three more things, and one of them is for my sister, one of them is for Leanne, and one of them is for another viewer. So, I can't show you. I'm sorry, but I can show you this because it's for me. That sucks because I really want to show you guys stuff. But trust me, once the holidays are over, I asked for a Lush gift card for from my sister-in-law and brother. So. I'm sure I'm going to be doing a ton of hauls and Christmas especially because it's my birthday and Christmas. So, um, so anyways, then after we did shopping, we went to get tickets and they were sold out till the 930. So we just had to go to do more shopping. So right now Victoria's Secret is doing a secret reward thing. So I just wanted to tell you guys about this because I think it's really cool except for I think that you have to, so anyways it's a minimum ten dollars so it's it does it you don't know until you check out how much it's worth but you could pick up say a small sample thing and have this be worth ten dollars and I think the the snag is that you have to spend the amount that it gives you 
So, but if it's worth $10 and you get something for $12, that would be really awesome because it would only be $2. Uh, but if it was, you know, I'm like, I, w I hope it's not worth more. That's like what I would worry about. Um, so anyways, when I had a whisper party at Alicia's, I talked to her husband because for some reason, Alicia is the only person I literally have no idea what to get for her. So I asked her husband what she needed and he said bras. And for us big chested girls, that's big doings because our bras are really expensive. And I don't think people realize that like bigger sizes cost more. And like when I went to Victoria's Secret um, and I got fitted in a bra, I was like, do you guys have it in like a white, a cream, or some other color? And they literally had one other bra in the entire store. So there were two, two bras in my size in the entire store. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy these because um, that's all I have. And they're like $57, they're super expensive, but it's worth it to have a bra that fits you and is comfortable. So, so I thought that I would get her a gift card, but I don't like gift cards. I, I, I like gift cards for uh, birthday presents and stuff because I like my friends to be able to just get whatever they want. But as far as Christmas presents, I like getting things. Like I like getting gift cards, but I don't like getting them for other people. But since that's really what she wants and I can't buy her a bra, I thought I would get her a gift card and then some like little cute other things. So I got her this bag, Victoria's Secret. And then inside I just put her gift card, which I got $20 which obviously cannot pay for a bra, but makes it substantially less. And it's really cute because you can pick whatever kind of gift card you want and they have like the cutest gift cards. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it sucks. I wish I could get her like a full card that like really could get her a bra, but that's just a little bit past my budget. Um, because I want to get her little things and the inside of the bag has like these cute polka dots things so I thought it was really cute and um, then I got her these two I'd, I'd originally gotten her full sizes of these but like I don't know what it is and who was I just watching um, oh my gosh who oh what is I just did a marathon of watching her videos and like being a stalker and I like commented on so many videos and I finally had to like stop myself because I was like you're gonna freak her out I'll put her link down below because Leanne, Lori, Diana you will love her videos you guys need to check her out she does unboxings and she's really honest and I love that about her and she's super into samples which I love so anyways, I don't know why that, I don't know why, why I was thinking of that, but then I'm just going to take a stream of consciousness. Guys, um, there's a girl that I watch and her name's, um, Angie and she's so awesome and she's, um, I don't know if she, re I think she recently started her channel and she's trying to get to a certain amount of subscribers, 100 subscribers by the time she has her birthday. And I think she's doing a giveaway, which is super sweet, but I don't really care about the giveaway. I just want her to get the subscribers. So I will also link her down below and check out her channel because she just has really great stuff. And she's just, you can just tell like she has such a sweet heart and she has really good videos. So I'm not just like saying that because I think she's great. Like she does have really great videos, both of the gals. I'll put them down below. Okay, so the two scents that I got are um, Fresh and Clean. Yeah, so I decided to get the smaller ones because then I could get her this bag. Um, but, because I spend the same amount on all my friends. So, um, but anyways, I don't know why I'm going to open this like you can freaking smell it. I was literally just about to open this and be like, hey, you should smell it. But what's cool about these is it says what the scent is on the back. Um, and it's Fresh Apple and Lily and it smells so good. But I like to get scents for my friends because my friends can't wear perfume around me and it always makes me feel so horrible. So I try to get them like scents and stuff that I know I'm not allergic to that they can wear. 
Um, that one I might be a little allergic to, but like, it's not bad. And then the other one, which I really like, is Warm and Cozy. This is Toasted Vanilla and Pony, which I think is a flower my sister-in-law said. I don't know what it is. Um, oh, and it just smells so divine. It smells so good. So these are $8 each. This was $9. And so it was a great deal because the other one was like two for 25 or something two for 35 for the bigger sizes and nobody goes through that much you know like so that's what I got for her I, got, I like when things match too I don't know if you noticed that which helps in the great secret because I have a lot of pink stuff but I got her that because I just they're more me and like I already feel a little bit uncomfortable getting a friend something for Victoria's Secret um, but when their husband says they need it that means they need it and she's the kind of person that will buy things for other people and never get around to getting it for herself and you know not have bras for forever so um i just want to give back to her and make her life a little bit easier so now i have her done and i feel like my whole list is done because i had no idea what to get her then once we got done shopping uh, we went to the movies and we saw Mockingjay and I kept getting so excited to see it and then I was like oh but it's only part one but I really was mad at myself because I didn't read the book again before I saw it because long story short I don't have the audiobook of it anymore and um, I just didn't get it and I was like oh watch it. it'll be like a new experience for me but it was very confusing for me like I really needed to especially because I was like I kind of remember this part like bits and pieces were coming back to me but like other parts I was like I feel like I really liked some of these characters but I don't remember who they are and like I don't remember what happens next and so I, I really need to reread it, but, and that really sucks. I have to wait like a whole other year to see the next one. And so I'm just going to read it again. And I would encourage you to reread it before you go see it because it's a completely different storyline with pretty much completely different characters. I mean, yeah, really there's a lot of new characters, but I really liked it. I enjoyed it. It's um, a lot of the people don't like the third Hunger Games book, but it's actually my second favorite. Hunger, the first one is my favorite, then the third one is my second favorite, and then Catching Fire is my least favorite. Um, Mockingjay is a bit slow, but then once it gets going, it is so action-packed, and I really loved it, and I cannot wait for the second part, which is like going to be really action-y and like heroic and really cool. Um, and then we drove back and my sister and brother FaceTimed on the way back and they're just sickeningly adorable. They just are so in love and it's really sweet. Uh, makes me very proud to have, I don't know, parents that are so in love that it's like they met yesterday and they're still best friends and my brother and sister being best friends and just so in love it's like they first just started dating and they've been dating or whatever they've been married for two years and been together for like te 10 years now um so i just think it's really cute i just didn't get lucky in that department <laughs> it so anyways that was a lot of chatting but i hope that you guys i don't know you guys love videos like this so i don't know i always feel so guilty doing them because i know you guys like to sit down with tea and in bed and watch these videos so it was a more chit chatty rambly telling you about my day and the exciting things and then probably tomorrow i'm gonna feel like crap but that's okay because I got to do really fun stuff today and I know that you guys all get really excited when I get to do fun stuff which makes it even more fun um, but I hope you guys had really interesting days in the comments down below please let me know what you did today and I would love to know in detail even if that means leaving a long comment I would love to hear what you guys did um, or if it was just a bed day or um, 
shopping day or relaxing day or you work today or what have you but I would really like to know in the comments down below uh, your comments mean so much to me I won't get into that I know I've told you guys but they mean the world to me so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that and I hope you guys are having a pain-free stress-free day and I'm sending out extra woes and as always I will talk to you guys tomorrow bye